Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel, I hope you're all well, and welcome back to Cartcraft. As you can see, we're going to do 10 laps today around Port Fletcher International in the UK. Now, if you watched my previous video where I raced at Geelong, you'll know that I had the AI set to medium there, um, but I found them, and I found them pretty difficult to race against, but I've done a couple of practice races here and found the AI not to be very challenging at all on medium, so I've cranked them up to uh, hard settings, and um, even, even now, hard, they're not overly challenging, so that was a horrible corner, um, but we'll see how we go. The other thing too that I've noticed is that the performance at PFI really, um, my machine's really tanked here, so I've dropped everything that I had running at Ultra for Geelong, um, which was basically every setting, I've had to drop them all down to high or medium, so now medium for the post-processing, high for viewing distance, high for everything else, and I even changed the AI setting as well to try and get it to run smoothly. It's doing it now, now nothing else has really changed other than the length of the circuit. I'm still running the same amount of AI. Um, so Paul Fletcher is 1,380 metres long compared to the 700 for Geelong. So logically you've got twice the amount of polys, you know, you've got a lot more tracks on objects, that type of thing. Um, but I still think there needs to be some kind of uh, performance tweak done here for this circuit because I ran the other circuits uh, that are out as well currently um, and uh, didn't have any performance issues there at all. So it's definitely um, Paul Fletcher International related. Um, and I posted up about the AI not being too challenging here too and that's, that's a known issue now. I think that um, the guys are going to, or somebody indicated on, on Discord, it wasn't one of the devs, but one of the guys on Discord indicated that they uh, they plan to make the AI um, a little bit more tunable. Um, so I'm hoping it's something along the lines of Artifact 2 and Race Room, where you basically have a your slider, you know, and you can crank them past 110% if you uh, 100% if you want to, um, to make up for you know deficiencies in the AI line, that type of thing. You just want to push yourself, so hopefully that does happen. And then um, this month we've got, well, sorry, no, in August we've got um, multiplayer, so listener and, and um, dedicated servers and that type of thing coming out. So it'd be very cool to have a crack at that. Um, still really enjoying it, even though, like I said, a couple of you know, downers about this, just this track itself or running at this track with AI. Um, really looking forward to what the guys have planned for the future. I'm really, really enjoying this still. So, just some things to bear in mind if you are planning on running AI at um, PFI. So I've had a crack at the Hot Lap Challenge and in practice I've done a 57.4 in practice and then a 57.7 in the Hot Lap Challenge. So I'm going to have another crack at that and see if I can get lower. It's for me. 13th position in Australia and 220 in the world, so I want to kind of get a little bit lower on the, uh, the world stage, that'd be nice. Sorry, mate. Got a love tap there. Alright, first is pulling away a little bit. I need to try and scoot past. Oh. Easy, mate. puts pressure on you to try and get that left hand to the right which I completely balked in but it makes it very difficult because the left hand has got that high angle curve so you can't really cut across it um, as you saw it kind of just throws, the, uh, throws your line out Let's see if we can get in 58s at least for this lap settings with that bad corner back there. <laughs> oh, 
I've messed it up big time. <laughs> what was going on there? Oh, it's a shame. here. No. So much for the uh, AI being easy. Interesting, at least. I'm not going to get it. Wow, he's flying now. Pull him back a little bit. Let's see if we can get him through the tiny again. He's gonna bash me. No. Okay. Whew. Two laps to go, hey? Fletcher International opened in 94, um, wanted a, a major um, upgrade in 2011 when they introduced the bridge and flyover that we just um, drove over then, so that increased the length of the circuit to 1,380 metres, uh, and they also got their international A-grade circuit licence as well as part of that, or after that. Um, very cool circuit, obviously internationally known, um, kind of the jewel in the crown of the UK karting scene, hold their own championship as well as a bunch of others, so yeah, um, known all over the world. Very cool circuit. see that it's not getting the frames that I was getting um, just while practicing by myself, that's for sure. What a hot lap challenge. That's horrible. Slap. Pull something out of the bag here. wider entry to that corner there. Set me up a little bit better then. So 
or 58s probably. Yeah, no. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please give it a uh, thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and I will be sure to upload more content soon. Thank you everyone. Bye.